It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. My name is Kate Heffernan. I am a branch manager at Liberty Home Mortgage, and this is my office. Um, so essentially what I do is I help people purchase new homes. When we got this space, it was totally bombed out. There were no walls. There was graffiti all over everything. The floor was trashed. And immediately when I walked in, I said, this is it. This is it for a thousand different reasons. It has to be it. You know, if we're gonna change how Cleveland works and how Cleveland functions, we have to start investing in it. I think space and proximity and inclusion to your neighborhood and your different areas, I think it's one of the most important things that you can do to keep yourself understanding how a community works and what a community needs. Really, we want the people who are willing to take the chances. We want the people who wanna invest in our communities. And you know, we can do loans wherever, but really I think if we're gonna grow Cleveland, we have to do it from the inside out. In anything that I do, you know, I always had a rule, first one in, last one out. I want the work that I do here to reflect that high quality that I put my own work ethic through. So I really want this branch and all the people that work with us and all the people who work here to reflect that as well. You know, being a female branch manager, I don't know one other female branch manager in Ohio, let alone the United States, but I want to, in an industry that's completely male driven, really pull women up and support them um, because there are things that we need that are different than what the average male salesperson needs. So really just hard work, integrity, and then, you know, pulling up our other ladies as well. One of the reasons why I've succeeded is, you know, I grew up where my mom is a social worker and my dad's a Cleveland Public School teacher. You know, my brother uh, has Down syndrome, my sister works at a nonprofit that helps people re enter the workforce after incarceration or other life events. So even though I'm in a financially driven form of employment, I really try to bring my ethos, which is help people do no harm, be the voice of reason where maybe they're not hearing that. You know, say no to people who it might not make sense for them to get the loan. You know, being that and bringing my ethics into every single transaction and remembering that I'm still, you know, the grandchild of a steel worker and, you know, our family is immigrants and remembering that I have to bring that every day, you know, because I have people who are holding me accountable. And I really try to keep that in mind when I'm advocating for them, keep that in mind when I'm going to bat for them. You know, I think every underwriter and processor I've ever worked with probably hates me. I'm advocating for every single client, you know, and if they are doing their best to make a better life for themselves and their family, you know, it's my obligation to help them do that. So that's really, I think, what drives me and, you know, bringing my ethos into every transaction, bringing my ethics into every transaction. And I really think that that's what has made me super successful in this industry compared to other loan officers. Because I know at the end of the day, if I'm telling a client or advising a client to take a program, that I feel strongly about it. And I don't think every loan officer can say that.